welcome to the analysis of IPMAT 2018. The exam was on the expected lines that is in all there were 100 questions divided in three sections to be answered in 120 minutes. The three sections were quantitative ability, short answer based questions having 20 questions to be answered in 40 minutes. Quantitative ability, the MCQ questions, total 40 questions to be answered in 40 minutes and verbal ability and reading comprehension. Again, 40 questions to be answered in 40 minutes. Overall, the exam was very much on the expected lines with no major glitches uh, as far as uh, technical or software is concerned and no major deviation as far as exam pattern is concerned except for one deviation uh, wherein there were few questions on uh, non-MCQ pattern in verbal ability. Let us review verbal ability section. This section can be broadly classified into four types of question. First one being reading comprehension. There were two passages having six and five questions each. Both the passages had very simple and direct questions. Uh, both the passages were somewhere around 400 to uh, 450 words uh, per passage. And except for one question, which was a title of the passage, the rest of the questions can be considered as easy. The second type of questions are the most dominating one, that is vocabulary based questions. Here we can further divide vocabulary based questions into two subsections uh, which is closed test or fill in the blanks having one small passage and couple of blanks uh, wherein the appropriate word had to be fill in and second type of questions were word usage. So there were five questions on word usage. Students were required to find out the most inappropriate way in, the word in which the word has been used. Couple of words were ambiguous and uh, one of the word was tough also but overall we can say vocabulary based questions were easy. Next in line is grammar based question. There were two types of grammar based question. First one the traditional one that is sentence correction. The second one was innovative and slightly newer as far as variety is concerned. The second type of questions required students to replace the group of words by an alternative phrase given in the options. The fourth variety of questions in verbal ability section are the verbal logic based questions. There were four questions on logical continuation and four questions on parajumble. So instead of standard option based you know, parajumbles, here students were required to key in the correct combination of uh, the jumbled up sentences uh, in order to mark the answer and instead of uh, MCQ questions, these questions were non MCQ questions. Overall, the section can be considered as moderate and definitely not easy because when we compare it with last year, the section was slightly difficult and hence we will mark this as a moderate. Uh, overall, good attempts can be 32 plus and a net score of uh, 24 plus correct or uh, 96 raw score can be considered as good for this section. Next section is quantitative ability, the MCQ based questions. There were 40 questions to be answered in 40 minutes. Majority of these questions were word based problems having multiple concepts within the same question. So there was hardly any question which had a standalone or a single concept. Uh, when we look at the breakup, the breakup was mostly dominated by higher algebra and higher geometry based questions. There were around two to three questions from uh, matrices and determinants, function, inequality, quadratic equation, permutation and combination, probability, coordinate geometry and trigo. Most of these questions were lengthy and calculative. Thankfully, there was an online calculator provided. Among other topics, there were around four to five questions from topics like logarithms, set theory, progressions and geometry and mensuration. Again, almost all of these questions had uh, word problems and multiple concepts within the same question. So there will be a question on uh, logarithms having a concept of progression in it or a uh, question on uh, progression having the concept of geometry within it. Surprisingly, there were no questions on basic arithmetic. So there was a negligible question. Only one question from profit and loss and one question from the concept of time, speed and distance were asked. Uh, however, there was another type of question that is data interpretation, uh, which had uh, four questions in it. It was based on one table and most of the questions were on the concepts of percentages, ratio and average. Overall, the section can be definitely considered as tough because most of the calculations were lengthy and calculative and also time consuming. In an ideal situation, we will consider 18 plus as good attempt for this section and a net correct of 13 plus or a raw score of 52 plus can be considered as a good score for this section. Now let's discuss quantitative ability short answer based question. This is for the first time that such a section was introduced. Though in uh, IPMAT 2017, there were a couple of questions wherein students were required to key in the correct answer and not select the you know, option. So this year there were 20 questions to be answered in 40 minutes. Again, most of these uh, questions were dominated by higher algebra and higher geometry. There were approximately three questions 
from each of the following topic that is logarithms quadratic equation progression and permutation and combination most of these questions were calculative and lengthy again there was an online calculator provided and hence that could have given some respite to the students this section also had a very good quality geometry based questions there were around four to five questions based on geometry one question on trigonometry and one question on the concepts of averages except for the question on trigonometry rest of the questions can be considered as word problems having uh, lengthy calculations and application of multiple concepts within the question generally 12th board students have the habit of attacking one type of a concept at a time and hence uh, facing such type of questions would have been very difficult that is the reason why we are considering 9 plus as a good attempt in this section within 40 minutes and a uh, net correct of 5 plus can be considered as a good score though there was no negative marking but getting 100% accuracy or getting even 80% accuracy will be slightly difficult and hence a uh, 5 plus net correct or 20 plus uh, net score raw score can be considered good for this section now let us review the synopsis of the entire paper the three sections that is verbal ability quantitative ability mcq based question and quantitative ability short answer based question we are anticipating a good score of 96 in verbal ability 52 in quantitative ability mcq based question and 20 plus in quantitative ability short answer based question however the cutoff will be slightly less than that and hence the cutoff estimation for each section will be as follows that is 80 for verbal ability 36 for quantitative ability mcq based question and 12 for quantitative ability short answer based question converting the same in the scale score and multiplying the respective weightages as assigned by uh, the IIM Indore authorities uh, that is 30 percent weightage for the verbal ability section and 35 percent for rest of the two section we can arrive at a scale score of 43 plus that is the estimated cutoff for ip mat 2018 wishing you all the best for the results of ip mat 2018 keep watching this space for more information mm -hmm.